that's not a good start. Just spoke to her owner, apparently she said she saw this part, you know, like that, on the drive. So I'm wondering if the builders have just super glued it to the end. All right, builders have finished, but I'm not happy. Get a state of that. I've got to put a doorway in here. I've got to put a line in on the inside. This is where the old window came out. I told him I leave that because I can build that up. But this, made a right pig's ear of it. I'm trying to stay cool, so add your own blue words wherever you want. One in every sentence, pretty much. This told him I wanted it out and just bricked across. That's not level, it's about 20 mil out. That's the floor level there. So by the time I get my doors on, you can have like four or five inch threshold. Around here, same again, that's where the old door was. That was a window around there, don't know what I said. That's where the old door was. And I've got to project off here with the stud wall here. And I told him I can build that up. That's okay. But then this side. Up there, the lintel only just sits on top of that brick. So I can't cut that off. Brick this one up, like I asked. It's got a bit of a hump in the middle, and the lintels. I think they should be fatter than that. I was going to fix the timber underneath there, but I'm not going to drill into that thing now. So I've got to change my plans. You see there's next to no cavity. Yeah. So, what I'm doing today, annoyingly, is bricklaying like this. Got on there. I'm going to drag that stone out and brick it across. I've just got to knock these little stones out here, these little bricks. There's one on the inside in a similar way. Take these bits out here, get that stone out. I came up yesterday when I heard that the builder had finished, and when I got here, I wasn't happy, so I pulled out what bricks I could. It's just as well, the skip's gone now. Oh, tried drilling around it. There's another swear word. But I've just got a couple to come out this side now. So do I cut this off? I'll take out that whole brick, which means I've got to do that one as well. It's no better than the dirty he left there. So, that little one came out. Joist there, floor joist, getting wet. I don't want to take this one out, so I've got to try and lift, lift and wriggle on my own.
that wasn't too bad. Just got to get it down now. I think I'll just put some skids on here. Shoo, don't want to see that. I don't want to knock the flags there. Nearly smacked me in the head. I don't think I'll loosen them, maybe. I'll put them back in. I can't see a damp course. There'll be one somewhere. I can't see any air bricks. They sometimes tell you. I brought some timber with me because I want to extend these timbers, these joists like this one. But there's a mat well under there, this timber here. I presume that's a mat well inside. I don't know. But that is sat on that. And I can't I can't see anything else. Supports that. Opened a can of worms on her. This stone that I took out, this big stone, was raising up like that. It was only about 15, maybe 20 mil. But I'm wondering if it's because that's because that brick has been rocking like that and it's slowly lifted it. Oh. I think what I'll do is brick up the outside of here. I'm going to take this little stone out so I can key it in. Take that little bit of brick out. I'm just going to brick up the outside. And when I come inside, I think I'm going to cut part of the floor away and have a look at that. Maybe get another support in there somehow. I've just discussed it with the owner. We've agreed. I'm just going to brick the front up for now. And when I go inside, I'm going to cut some of the floor away, get some more supports in this, because there is only that brick. Nothing underneath there. Uh... So when I cut some of the floor away, I'll be able to bolt some decent timbers to it, put some bolted ones on, proper bolted ones. They'll fly through, I'll prop that as well. I'm really not keen on bricklaying, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do, that's all. I've wet the bricks down, I'm going to clean some of these up, and I'm going to make a 4 to 1 or 5 to 1. I'll throw a bit of cement in. 5 to 1 mix. And I'm going to put a bit of plasticizer in it. Makes it sort of, well, like, helps it flow. When you pat the bricks down, it helps the cement spread out from underneath. If you don't put it in the cement compacts and you, you hammer on it forever. And what I've learned is get your bricks in. Don't concentrate too much on one individual brick try and get it as close as possible but get a few in and then sort of you know tap them level I'm gonna to work to a string line so I don't know if this is level or not 
I might put my bricks in level, but then they'll be out here. Anyway, I'm just going to do it. So this is missing sand. A little bit of additive in it. Makes a nice sort of nice mix, nice smooth mix. I forgot to bring a big board with me, but that'll do. See, not level. So the next row I'll work to string line. So now I've got a row sort of in. I packed it off a little bit so it string lines off a little bit. But what I'll do is get them straight that way and that way. This brick's been cut at some point, but I'm not taking it out to put a new one in. I'll just fill that gap up. So I'll get them straight now.
put a level on it, just see what it is. Right, that'll do me. Smudged it all up at first, but I'm gonna have a cup of tea, wash that off, point it up. Some big gaps here. I could have done with spreading it out a bit there. Fill that gap up. Don't matter. There's gonna be steps built here eventually, so you probably won't see this. That'll do. You see what I mean about get half a dozen on. You see I put that last one in in the middle so that I could tap those that way and tap those that way. If I put that one in last I'd have to try and get in there and tap all those along. All I had to do was just make that gap a bit wider. Uh, clean it up, point it, T first though. Right, that'll do. I'll tidy it up a bit more when it's dry. Bit annoyed that I didn't spread them joints out, but shouldn't have had to do this anyway, so sort of don't care. It's better than it is. Right, I've got a brick to go back in here, but I meant to bring my grinder today and cut that off. So I'm going to do that tomorrow, then I can fill this in. <laughs> 